Organizations collect a huge amount of data every day. Microsoft Azure can deliver an end-to-end -end solution to convert this data into actionable information. In this video, we'll review a data flow architecture for this process. Data collected into data marts and other transactional systems is sent to an extract, transform, and load tool such as SQL Server Integration Services, Master Data Services, or Data Quality Services. At the same time, data can be sent to the ETL tools from external services such as those hosted on Azure Marketplace. The ETL tools send the process data to a SQL Data Warehouse. Additionally, various devices and sensors feed huge amounts of data through the blob storage into Hadoop environments such as HD Insight. HD Insight helps curate, process, and analyze all the unstructured and semi-structured data. This curated data can then be consumed directly from HD Insight or sent to the SQL Data Warehouse to further enrich it. The SQL Data Warehouse, running on Azure Virtual Machines, hosts all the data from the various sources. When set up with Always On, they provide high availability and disaster recovery for any failure situation. The data is then sent to SQL Server Analysis Services for processing. This processed information is fed into reporting tools like SQL Server Reporting Services and SharePoint dashboards. Departmental business intelligence, such as Excel BI and Power BI, can consume data from all the data sources. This allows users to use their familiar Excel tool to use and build on that data. Power users can share and collaborate on the data using their models and reports in Power BI sites with capabilities like Q&A and Data Catalog. This architecture overview shows you how you can convert large amounts of data into actionable information using Microsoft Azure. For more architecture resources, go to aka.ms forward slash msarch.